Hey, this is Nick from Pressman Auto doing a quick video walkthrough of our 2020 Toyota Prius. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk all the way around the vehicle. We're gonna check for any dents, scratches, or any blemishes on the outside. Then I'm gonna go inside the vehicle. We'll go over some of the features real quick, make sure everything's working properly. And then finally, I'm gonna pop the hood so we can check out a little bit in the engine bay. So the first thing to note is it is really cold here. So it's covered in a little bit of frost here. So rest assured though, if there are any scratches or dents or anything, um, I will be sure to stop and zoom in so you get a really good visual of it. Um, and you make sure you know everything that's going on here. But so I have kind of, I have a little bit of a history with Priuses. <clears throat> I don't know if it's pre, pre I, but Priuses. Um, my choir director, I was in choir growing up, and my choir director had a Prius, and that Prius lasted forever, dude. It lasted so long. I swear it had like 300,000 miles on it. It was crazy. So I was in choir for nine years there. It was in the, it's called the One Voice Children's Choir. And so he just took us everywhere in that, in that little Prius. We had, at one point, we had, I think, it's either 10 or 12 kids packed in a <laughs> packed in the, in his Prius. We were like laying over each other in the back seat. It was freaking crazy. Now, um, is that a selling point for this vehicle? Probably not. I would not recommend cramming 10 people or 10 even 10 children in the back of in the back seat of your Prius. However, um, if it came down to it and the police were not watching. I know for a fact you, that it can fit it, <laughs> so that's cool. So maybe don't do that, but it makes for a fun memory. Um, the trunk space back here is really, really big. Um, we had, I'm trying to remember, he had like all kinds of equipment. He had speaker systems and cords and all kinds of just tech that would always go in the back. And sometimes it was really big. So you got a lot of trunk space here without the story. <laughs> But as far as the outside goes right now, of what I'm seeing, it's looking really good. Down here, you're gonna have like some just very minor things, which honestly, we could probably just buff out for you. But the exterior of this vehicle is looking phenomenal. So let's finish going all the way around and then we'll pop inside. But I really don't think we're gonna, yeah, there's nothing new to see. It looks, it's great. So let's pop inside, give me some nostalgia real quick. <sighs> All right. So what I'm gonna do is when I turn on the vehicle, I'm going to leave the camera up here on the dash so you know everything that's going on. If there's any warning lights popping up, you'll be the first to know, okay? All right. So, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see better. So obviously there's no check engine light or anything crazy, but there's nothing up here to worry about at all. So that's awesome. The only thing up here is the no seatbelt lights. <laughs> and that's because I'm not wearing my seatbelt. So let's go over some of the features real quick, make sure everything's working properly. Check the mirrors, make sure they rotate. Good, good. Check that one. Awesome, awesome. Windows roll down. Perfect, perfect. Windows roll down over here. Nice. All right, just make sure the audio's working. Perfect, perfect. Go over menu. There you go. So on here, you're gonna have your apps, your phone stuff, your projection. All your info, let's click on info real quick. So you will have your eco stuff, which is just the greatest. We always had it open on this when I was driving with my choir director, um, just cause he was wanted to be conscious of his battery consumption and his driving and stuff. But you can do whatever you want. Um, you're also gonna have some space down here, just for your phone or whatever. Then you'll have your plugins right here. Got your aux cord, USB, 12 volts, it's pretty standard, good stuff. Got extra space in here. Got a little extra holder there. And then in the back, what's really nice is you're gonna have some extra spaces here for USBs. 
which I mean, you can never have too many USB plugins. So um, another thing to note in here is the interior is in excellent condition. Like the seats here, there's I there's no wear and tear on any of this. Back seat is exactly the same. 